Giants got a big win yesterday. NFL was, was a little shaky, though, know, these past two weeks. We weren't sure how many games we were going to get, who was going to play. There's been a lot of reshuffling and rescheduling. COVID is definitely ripping through the NFL. Mm -hmm. We're only through six weeks. Trip, do you think we will get a conclusion to this season, or you think that the positive test will just start to outweigh the amount of guys who can actually play? Well, I mean, clearly, because, you know, we, I want to see this thing, you know, <laughs> through. Um, and I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping this is just like the um, the little scare that we had with MLB early on when we didn't know if that was going to make it. We, we were just like, all right, we have, uh, we have one more test <laughs> away from the MLB season getting shut down. Um, but of course, you know, we're, we're about to, uh, to start the world series. So it worked out. So I'm hoping it'll be the same thing for the NFL. Um, but it, it's just, it's tough, bro. It's, it's really tough because it, I mean, it's hard, like, you know, again, and, and this is why we commend Adam Silver and the NFL and in, in the NBA, the NBA play association so much because they got it right. They went through, they finished the season out in the bubble without a positive uh, COVID test, you know, and, and, and it's, I know it's tougher with football and, and baseball really, because there's so many more players and, you know, with the M NBA, they were only bringing 22 teams back into the bubble. So when you have the smaller rosters and then you're only taking, you're taking uh 10 less teams than there are in the league, it makes things a little bit easier. However, you guys had the blueprint from the NBA and that's both major league baseball and the NFL, um, you know, cause even with major league baseball, again, they had their big scares and they had spoken about doing a playoff bubble, which they wound up, you know, they, they, they didn't, you know, go through with it, but you know, with the NFL, again, it's even harder because there's so many moving parts, so many players, so many coaches, the training staff and whatnot. Um, but I am hoping, and I'm glad Cam got back uh, from his his positive test. But it just seems like every time someone comes back, someone goes out with another uh, positive COVID test. I know uh, right now the Panthers are having their little freaking their stretch right now of of COVID tests, and it seems like we're going like kind of team to team. So I'm I'm hoping I got my fingers crossed that uh, this thing can uh, can can complete. But man, you know, listen, don't 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 listen to, to our president. This thing is, is very real. OK, don't, you know, don't this this coronavirus is very real um, and it's going to be tough for the NFL. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that they can do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that we get a conclusion to this season. Um, as you mentioned, Major, Major League Baseball went through a big scare early in their season where, you know, damn near the whole Miami Marlins team tested positive. And they had to figure out a way. And then the Cardinals went through it. And a lot of other teams went through it as well. Um, basketball was always in a unique situation. And we've talked about it before because basketball, one, was able to eliminate pretty much eight teams off the list and say, all right, you're not coming at all. And then they were also on the cusp of the playoffs already. So it was easier to just say, we're going to be in one location. And as teams get eliminated, we just start sending them home. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. before you know it, it, it becomes very reasonable. And as we've applauded them in the past, they had no positive tests because they were able to handle it correctly, but also be able to do it within a, 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 an amount of time that worked for everyone. NFL is in a much tougher predicament because you're trying to play out the whole season with, again, 32 teams, 53 man rosters on every team, traveling, going city to city, state to state, while still allowing teams to practice and have some sort of way to prepare for games. Because again, there was no preseason. So, you know, every team had to come into this situation uh, a little blind in the fact of like, how, how is this going to work in regards to travel, preparation, hotels? So I think the NFL has done a decent job. I don't blame them for everything we've seen because as, as we've seen throughout the country, COVID is, is still widespread and the numbers start to increase again. And it's only a matter of time before it's going to get closer to the athletes. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do commend the NFL because every time we've heard of any type of scare or positive test, facilities have been shut down immediately. Right away. Yeah. Uh, Bill Belichick has, has been quick to say we we're going to shut it down. The Colts shut it down the other day, even though it was false positives, but they still shut it down just to make sure everybody was okay. So I commend them for doing that. And that's why I am cautiously optimistic that we're going to get a conclusion to the season, but we can't overlook the fact that we're only in week six and we're already dealing with this. And so the fact that we keep having to rework schedules, I think this is the third week that we've had two Monday night games, which is unheard of. Um, I, mean, I like it though. <laughs> as, it. Listen, as, as fans, we love it. 
Um, yeah. but, but again, it speaks to how much the NFL was trying to rework things. You know, we had a game on Tuesday the other week, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Things that are unheard. Yeah, that of. was just crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we we had a Monday night football game and a Tuesday night game. It was like that's never happened before. Wow. Um, but you know, we we hope that they get through it and, and it all works out. Um, as you mentioned at the, at the top of the show, the New York Giants did get their first win yesterday. They're still in the race for Trevor Lawrence, though. Don't get fooled. They're still right there in the mix. They're also still in the race for the NFC East title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's they, they're they're really one foot in, one foot out. Like, are we trying to compete? Or are we just gonna take it away at one and five? Which sounds crazy. Uh, if Dallas loses tonight, which is a very real possibility, which yes. we're gonna get into in a second, the Giants could only be one game out of first place. Smush Parker here, formerly up to Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned into Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. 